Hey everyone, this video is the second in my series of painting things on a canvas and also on my nails. I'll link the first video where I did snowflakes. This episode, moon phases. I did paint my nails before I painted the painting, but I'll show the painting first because I'm not sure how many want to see the nail painting. I actually filmed this video over two weeks ago on February 26th. I was live streaming on one camera while also trying to film on a different camera for this video, and that was tough. You'll probably notice the placement of the canvas is a bit weird during some parts of the video, and that was because I was trying to keep it in frame on both cameras. I'll figure it out eventually. So I ended up doing three phases of the moon, and I used this circle stencil slash ruler that I only ever used to draw circles, and just painted a full moon right smack dab in the center. Well, the top center. <laughs> then I moved down and to the right a bit, and still using the stencil, I painted somewhat of a crescent-shaped moon that had to be cleaned up later. These all had to be cleaned up later. In fact, they all went through numerous makeovers. I couldn't make up my mind. Once the moons were nice and bright, I made them darker. I added in some gray where I wanted the craters to be. Then I thought to myself, you know, even though one side of the moon is reflecting light, you can still sometimes see the rest of it. You know, it's not completely black like the night sky. So I thought I'd be clever and use the circle stencil again to fill in the dark side of the moon with a dark gray. And, well, I never thought a moon could look derpy. And then I tried to freehand it, and it went about as well as you'd expect someone trying to freehand half a circle with a paintbrush. Okay, the bottom one on the right I'm okay with, and the top one. Two out of five is not bad. Now I'm adding in some clouds, which don't look too awful now that I'm watching it back, but at the time I painted it, I really didn't like how the bright white clouds looked against the also bright moons. It just felt like there wasn't enough contrast, so I did end up eventually brightening the moons even more, repainting the crater shadows and darkening the clouds to gray with some white highlights. During the stream, Weblight Dreams said she liked the clouds better the first way I had them. Let me know down in the comments if you liked the clouds the first way I had them or after I fixed them. I mean, changed them. I originally hadn't planned on adding clouds, but when I was painting my nails, they looked a bit unfinished with just the moons. So I added clouds, and then I regretted it because it made it look too busy and pretty much covered the moons up, but there was no going back so the clouds stayed. I had to add them to the painting for continuity's sake, so here we are. I was much happier once I brightened up the moons again. Now I feel like there's a nice contrast. I put a bit of white back on the clouds because some of that light would be reflecting off the moons and onto the clouds. It still felt kind of unfinished at this point, so I tried to be clever in adding some glow around the moons. I put a bit of white paint and then with a fluffy makeup brush that was damp with water, I smudged it around. The water thinned out the paint very nicely to give it a translucent effect. There was probably a better, more efficient way to do this, but I was just experimenting with a technique and that's how you learn stuff.
Once I finished my moon glows, it still felt a little empty, so I added in some dot stars. I'm aware that usually if it's cloudy, you can't see many stars out, but remember, there are also five moons in the sky. Reality? Don't know her. I've already removed all previous color from my nails, and because I'm doing the same thing on both hands, I only filmed when I was painting my right hand. Since I'm left-handed, I do better with control when using it. I've already done my cuticle oil treatment and pushed back my cuticles, and then I go over my nails one more time with acetone to remove any excess oil from the nail so the polish has the best chance of sticking. I added a base coat off camera to both hands so that's why they're extra shiny, and now to add color. I used a black for the dark night sky, and it's more apparent than I realized, but I'll just mention that my nails have an orangey yellow tint to them even though I've cleaned them off. It's completely natural for nails to stain when nail polish is worn frequently. My nails are perfectly healthy. Christine from Simply Nail Logical has a running gag where she refers to her bare nails as candy corn nails because she's gotten comments asking why her nails are orangey yellow. It's because the nail polish stains them. It's fine. I got this awesome tip from watching Christine where she uses an angled eyeliner brush dipped in acetone to clean around the nail. I was using a q-tip before but this is much better. I'm using acrylic paint instead of nail polish for the moons just because it's easier to control and it doesn't dry up as fast and get clumpy like nail polish. Also a tip from Christine. Christine the science queen. Christine the science queen. Chris, 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 Chris. Chris. Just like on the canvas board painting, I did three phases of the moon kind of going across. So a thin crescent moon on the pinkies and thumbs and working into a full moon at the middle finger. The design isn't super amazing or anything and I normally paint my nails with a solid color just for the sake of protecting them against getting weak and soft from water and breaking. But I thought it could be fun to try out some designs that work on shorter nails and in turn make larger paintings out of them for fun. I have a few more design ideas in mind like butterflies and mermaid tails because I have some sparkly colors and I thought that could be fun. Then a quick coat of glossy taco and they were all done. If you have any ideas for paintings that I could do on my nails and on paper or canvas, leave them in the comments below. Oh yeah, I had added stars on my nails too, but really didn't like them and they were easy to cover up, so I guess I didn't keep continuity between them. Oops. All in all, I still think it's a cute idea for a nail design, something a little different. They both could have turned out better, but hey. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Don't forget to like if you liked it, sub for more artsy videos, and turn your notifications to all so you don't miss an upload. I want to try to start live streaming regularly, so you should keep a lookout for that as well. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye!